Hey guys, welcome to Retro Crisis. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can play Nintendo 3DS games on your computer using Lime 3DS. So to download Lime 3DS go to the link in the description and once you've clicked it you'll land on Lime 3DS's GitHub page and all you need to do is scroll down and go to repository section and click on Lime 3DS. And then once you're here, go down to the section where it says releases, click on this button here, and then you'll be presented with the latest release of Lime 3DS. Now for this video, I'll be installing Lime 3DS on Windows. So go to the assets section. So I'll click on Lime 3DS, the version number, Windows, MSVC. And then once the zip file has downloaded, you need to extract it into its own folder. And then once you've extracted the zip file, you should end up with a bunch of files that look like this. And go to this little cute file here, which says lime3ds-gui.exe and double click to open. Now, if you've had Citra installed previously, as soon as you open Lime 3DS, it should just work straight away. But if you've never installed Citra previously, I'll show you what to do next. So the first thing to do is double click this folder icon and you can navigate to the folder that has your 3DS games. And then once you've done that, you should see a list of all of the 3DS games you have in your folder. Now let's go to emulation and configure and then go to system and here you can configure all of your system settings so under username you can type in your name and then feel free to type in your birthday your country's language select your country and under clock you can just use system clock and that will inherit the system time from your computer and then go to graphics now at the moment the internal resolution is set to the native 3ds internal resolution now if you have a beefy computer you can increase the resolution to maybe something closer to 1080p or 1440p which is quite common or you can go all the way to 4k for this video i'm just going to leave it at the native resolution next go to advanced and where it says graphics api personally i prefer to use vulcan wherever possible and under physical device select your GPU. Next go to audio and these are the settings I'm using which are basically the default settings and finally go to control and then here you can map your control buttons to your control pad and it's easy all you need to do is click on one of these buttons here and then on your control pad just click the button that you want to assign to it and then once you've completed everything you can just click on OK. Now all you need to do is double click a game to begin loading it and there we have it your Nintendo 3DS game has begun loading. And you should notice you can operate the touchscreen using your mouse. So at the bottom where it says press start, if I just use my mouse and click on it, it should work. There we go, it just registers the key press. And there's one final thing I'd like to show you, which is very useful. So currently you can see the screen is configured in the traditional Nintendo 3DS layout. But if you go to view, you can actually change it. So go to screen layout. So currently it's set to the default layout. If you go to single screen, it will just show you the main upper screen, large screen. It will make the upper screen prominent and the bottom screen uh, just kind of hidden away in the corner here. If you go to side by side, the screens are then laid out next to each other, matching the vertical resolution. And if you go to separate windows, it will put both screens in separate windows. Uh, I don't like that one personally, but yeah. If you go to hybrid screen, on the right hand side you'll see the traditional DS layout and on the left hand side you'll get the top screen. And there is an option called custom layout but I don't use it. Generally I prefer to just use side by side but feel free to use whatever you want. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. This has been Retro Crisis, thank you for watching.